I'll start with a quick review for this book, Change. I'm going to give this book 3 out of 5. The reason is that I couldn't find that much new information in the book. There is some good information, but there is much of the same studies repeated here. Some of them are in different books. One that I read before, Contagious, and there is a lot of other books similar to this. Somewhat unique about this book was that it was a little bit about uh, COVID, coronavirus we, we experienced, but couldn't find that much new information. It was a little too long, in my opinion. And it was kind of like a pop. There was the exp some of the explanations were too long. Some of the stories were not so good. So overall, it wasn't bad, nothing bad, but it wasn't very gripping. So there was some good stuff there, but not a lot. That's why it's a three out of five. Uh, let's see the notes. First one here. Influencers are not as effective at spreading things because they don't truly adapt it. People in the peripheries are much better as they truly adapt it. So what we see here that it's a counterintuitive idea that influencers are not as effective. They usually, according to him, are last, the last one to adapt the product. And the better way to do it is people in the peripheries. Uh, because they really adapt it. The influencers are not really adapting it. Interesting. According, the next one, according to the author, what makes people join dangerous protests is not economic or ide ideological reasons, rather because they, their social circles are participating. So according to him, it's not because ideological reasons, it's rather because the social circles are participating. And the reason I wrote a to the author because I have some issues with the idea because I do think that there is some ide ideological uh, drawing into it. So I think it's a combination because then, then you can ask the questions, why whoever joined the process first, why do they started coming? Because they don't have social circles there. So you have uh, you have the problems there. So I definitely feel, I definitely think that social circles plays play a role, but I think it's a combination with ide ideology and other things. This one is weak ties go far. So he, he's, uh, he's saying that weak ties are very important because they could reach far ahead. This one, virus spread like weak ties where it spreads in the community and then to the neighboring one. So it's much like weak ties but this is how a virus spread slowly through weak ties in the community and then it keeps on moving to different communities. Incumbency is extremely powerful. That's the problem. It's not a new idea, but incumbency, it's the problem of change where the incumbent always have nor, uh, more power. First adopters are extremely important and can ruin the launch of the product i.e. Google Glass. So the thing is that you have to choose the first adapters very carefully because what happened in the Google Glass, whoever adapted it were not relatable. So people didn't like it. That's again, according to him, that's why it didn't work. I think there's another thing that didn't work is privacy issues and the fact that it looks too invasive and things like that. So it's not the full picture. That's one of the problems I had. And it's, it's actually related to this one. Let's read it first. So the next one is night. Uh, side note, some conclusions are somewhat questionable. And I wrote it just a little bit after the, the Google Glass idea because he draws some conclusions that are not definitive in my opinion. There could be other things that, for example, in the Google Glass idea, there could be other things that, such as I just mentioned that other than the first adapters not being relatable. There is other issues that he, he just uh, not denied, but he just ignored. According to the author, the reason Google Plus failed is because everyone had it. So again, it's another conclusion that I didn't fully agree with because he said like it was everyone had it so it wasn't special i think there was just not i i tried to use it but it was just not intuitive not good and 
there was many other social medias that at the at the time had more features to it. Google Plus had no special features. So I think there was more than the fact that everyone had it. That that was not a good one. Legitimacy is a barrier. So one of the barrier for change is legitimacy. There is no le legi legitimacy the problem. Next one is coordination is another barrier to change, which is why the bar the British Army allowed enlisted friends to fight together, which helped recruiting. So that was the interesting or an effective tool they, they implemented to compensate for lack of coordination. So what they did, no one, not a lot of people wanted to enlist in the army. What they did, they allowed friends to enlist together. So whoever they can fight together in the army, then that helped a coordination and more, much more people enlisted in the army after they implemented that rule. Just an effective recruiting tool. Next one is, weak ties are more like narrow bridges, while strong ties are wider, which allow redundant information to travel. So that's the difference between weak to strong ties. Weak ties are more, so that's a good metaphor to think about. So we have narrow bridges are more like weak ties. There is not a lot of information going through unlike strong ties, which are more like wide bridges and they allow even redundant information to travel through and that's how tra information travels better. Narrow bridges are fragile and limited in their capacity for information transfer. That's one of the problems with narrow bridges. There is not a lot of information traveling through and it's limited. Similar peer are more influential on our decision than experts. That's, again, it's not new, but again, good to reiterate that, that people like us are more influential in all our decisions and, and than experts. Experts are not as influence, influent. Sweden suffered from coordination dilemma after changing the driving side. People didn't know how others would behave. So what happened? Sweden changed the side of the road where they, where they ride and the first day, people had coordination dilemma. This term is saying that we didn't know we don't know what the others would do, so they didn't report that much accidents. But when they spoke to people, they they figured out that there was a coordination issues, where people didn't know what to expect. So let's say you're driving on the right side of the road, the new right side of the road. You don't know how the other driver would react. So if, let's say, if they're middle of the road, you don't know how they're that. Are they aware of the situation? They're not aware of the situation? So that's something that could arise when there is change. This one is, in, instead of using influencers, it's better to pay people from a small circle of friends to promote something. If they all adopt it, it's better and more effective, more che or cheaper than you using influencers. So he's really against using influencers. Next one, snowball effect is using redundancy and small circles to promote something. So that's the idea of snowball effect, using redundancy. So people see things over and over again, it's important. And also small circle of friends that you really adopting it and it's more effective. And the last one, even among doctors, social acceptance of an idea is the most important factor. So we can see again how social circles are more are important for change. So that's if the, one thing I got out of this book is how important social circle are, circles are. Again, nothing new, but it's a good reiteration of the idea. So that is for the notes. Again, some interesting ideas, but some of them are kind of in the field for a long time. So he, he portrayed his book as something new that wasn't there that he got into his new stuff and he had some studies that he conducted not nothing major in my opinion again it's an interesting read but nothing nothing special thank you